Hi there, Virgo Libra. Welcome into your June reading. So let's get here into your reading and see what we have for career, for love, advice, self-care, all of those things. And don't forget to check your individual signs in case you are looking for extra messages, more information. That is going to be on the Sunny Virgo Tarot on the little cards over there, okay? So let's see here. What do we have for you? Honor and respect will come to you. We like that. All right, so we have October, we have dragon, beware of self-delusion, camel, persevere, and you will overcome problems, and we have door, opportunities are waiting for you. Um, there's something about like um, a birthday gift when it's not even your present, your birthday, something like that. Uh, you could also be dealing with someone from October, but I get this feeling of, um, I don't know, I get this feeling of like a birth, I, I keep getting that, a birthday gift. So maybe you're receiving some sort of blessing, especially with these opportunities. You could be receiving some sort of blessing, some sort of opportunity that is going to feel like a present. Um, and I feel like you're going to be quite happy. There's something about like you could feel like you're not good enough for a relationship or for a career. And I feel like your guides are asking you to pay attention to it. Okay, you if if you have a dream for something, it's because you're ready for you to tackle it. It's because you're you have what it takes for you to make it happen. Okay, the universe, guides, God, angels, whatever you want to believe in, um, they do not give you something that you're not ready for. Okay, they do not give you something. They do not show and bring into your life things, people, situations that you're not ready to tackle, that you're not ready to bring into fruition and to make it happen. Okay, so if you're feeling like you're not enough to be in a relationship, you're not enough to be a doctor to be a lawyer whatever the case may be you are enough more than enough that's why you're receiving that opportunity okay if you weren't good enough for that you wouldn't be receiving the opportunity in the first place okay so i feel like with that persevere and you will overcome problems i really feel like it's like keep going okay take risks there's something um something i heard from i believe his name is anthony from uh cancer moon tarot it's like um oh my god what is wow it was so good <laughs> but it's that thing of like uh you miss oh and i wrote it i wrote it just before in my journal um you miss 99 of the shots you don't take like you miss 99 of the opportunities you don't take i really feel like it is time for you to take a chance it's time for you to take a risk okay and see what happens i feel like you're going to be very very surprised okay it could lead to this okay to this honor and respect it could lead to something really huge and really great all right so let's take a look into career and see what happens we have healing grief and big picture um we i did also see uh heal healing thyself i feel like this is a little bit similar um because i feel like with this healing grief i feel like you're healing a part of you that wasn't acknowledged before I feel like you're healing a part of you that maybe your parents neglected or as a child you were always told no you were never able to do that or no you're not good at this or maybe it was something like a passion you had and it was bullied um you were bullied for it you know maybe you really loved comics and that was always the dream that oh t one day I'm going to be a comic book writer or whatever that is called um I'm going to I'm going to work for Marvel you know I don't I don't know it's like there is a passion that I feel like you have that maybe was neglected as a child and people were not allowing you to do it. People were saying what you should be and what you shouldn't be. And I feel like now you're seeing the bigger picture of, wait, but if I had that desire all along, it's because it was part of my destiny. And I feel like once you really acquire that knowledge that, again, if it is showing up for me, it's because I'm good enough for it. It's because I'm ready for it. It's because it's part of my path. I feel like once that clicks for you, you really start seeing the key and you really start taking action towards your soul and what your soul is calling you to do. And I feel like you start creating amazing roots for amazing trees to grow. Like there are so many little trees here. It's like you can grow so much in this career. Okay. And this is just one day. Imagine what you can do tomorrow and imagine what you can do in two years, right? It has to start to grow and evolve even more. I really feel like the biggest key here for you this month in career is believe in your skills. Believe in the things that you have. Okay? 
Same thing with ideas and creativity. Creativity only, like creativity, inspiration, ideas, they only go to you when they feel like they will be heard. Inspiration, like creativity, wants to be heard, wants to be acknowledged and wants to be used, right? And that's why sometimes we have an idea and we start working on it and then we never, we procrastinate, we never look into it. And then you go and go to it again and it's like, what was this about? I, I don't really feel inspired to do this anymore. Because the idea already flew off into someone else, okay? That is something that um, Elizabeth Gilbert talks in Big Magic. I totally recommend that book. Um, and it's exactly the same thing. If you have an idea, if you feel inspired to do something, it's because that feels like it's a safe space for it to be listened to and for it to be worked on and for it to be created. You are the creator. You are the vessel for this. You were chosen, okay? You were chosen, I know that sounds really big and daunting, but it's just, it's, it's literally just your soul, okay? It's literally just who you are. And you, it, it doesn't have to be a big thing. You don't have to justify who you are to anyone. It is literally just who you are, and you just have to own it. I know it is easier said than done, but once you do, magic happens, Okay? So we have the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Maybe there is even something here that is not really working. It's because it's not aligned. That's how it works. Okay, when you're aligned with something, magic happens. You start making loads of money. You find the love of your life. You move into your dream apartment. Everything happens. Everything falls into the place. If you're not doing something that aligns with you, your health deteriorates. This is not to scare you. <laughs> this sounds very like, oh my God. But it's like, you start seeing signs that this is not it. I need to change something to feel happier, to feel more aligned and connected with myself. And so I feel like now things could be a bit blocked because your guides are waiting for you to find this key and for you to go towards that those doors, okay? And I feel like you already have the answers. You already have those ideas. You already have that creativity within you, okay? You may need to get a little drunk to do it. <laughs> you may need to get a little get a little push to get into this direction, but please take action, okay? Please do it. And look at that. Creation. You are the creator, okay? I really feel like there is a lot of transformation happening here for you this month. It may be unexpected, but it's going to lead to so much wish fulfillment, okay? You may need to quit a job. You may need to let go of something. I don't know. You may need to move out um, of your parents' house and some friendships, whatever you need to do, okay? Please remember, you don't have to justify who you are to anyone else. It's just who you are and your dreams are valid, okay? Please, I beg you. I beg you. Let's get here into your advice. Yeah, look at that. Self-reflection. It's who you are. And you don't have to be ashamed of it. Please don't be. Okay? You could also be afraid of other people's opinions or that thing maybe was something that was really shamed and bullied. Has a has a child and I don't think that, you know, if you share it with the people closest to you and the people that you two love the most, if they shame you for it, they're not even your friends in the first place, number one. Number two, those that are your friends and those that love you, they're going to love you unconditionally because, again, it's part of who you are. So what can they do about it? They, they can't do anything. So, yeah. And, like, one thing, just, you know, s just so you don't feel alone, <laughs> is that when I first started this, I was so freaking scared of, um, you know, this whole terror thing. All my life, I grew up, well, well, first of all, I grew up very religious. Uh, not that my family practiced that a lot, but, you know, I grew up in that environment. And um, it, it, more than anything, I live in, like, a little, like, really small town. And it's, like, everyone knows each other. Really, really just a small town. So it's, like, ooh, taboo and kind of stuff. And uh, I also grew up, like, hearing, oh, tarot is it's like a scam and you shouldn't believe in any of that and astrology is fake and all of that and when I found tarot I was like oh my god I really love this what do I do and I later came to find out that it really didn't matter the people that loved me they, they didn't question it it's like 
oh, okay, <laughs> you know, and it's just part of who I am. It's just part of my, my purpose, just part of my destiny. And it's the same thing here. The people that love you are not going to judge you, okay? And look at where I am right now. Like, I'm pretty happy. I would say I'm pretty successful. Um, at least I see myself that way. But <laughs> it's just magic happens. Magic really does happen. And I met amazing people here. I met my little birdie family, okay? So magic happens. Please go towards your dreams because they are worth living, okay? We have will and we also have nourishment. Nourish your dreams. Nourish that creativity nourish that I, those ideas please just do something about it okay and please do not give up okay okay so let's get into love and see where we go with this for my virgo libras oh that was fast obsession unconditional love okay so your love life appears to be a little bit better <laughs> but we have obsession and unconditional love here someone is absolutely crazy over you i really feel like there's someone here that does not want anyone else but you um i feel like they hide this pretty well it's like yeah unbothered it's like who virgo libra what no totally cool dude i'm like yeah they're they're fine and in the end it's like oh my god Virgo Libra ah <laughs> you know and you could receive a lot of um synchronicities about them but I really feel like this is someone that it's like completely in awe of you there could be something going on here in June I don't know we'll figure that out what do we need to know about this we have the nine of cups I feel like you have a crush on them as well this is definitely uh, like a wish fulfillment it could be quite fresh for some um but this person I feel like they're hot and I feel like they definitely are hot for you. Uh, They're so freaking attracted here. My God. They could have been quite hard in the past. So they could be a little bit protective. And maybe that's why they're like, they appear unbothered. But in the end, it's like they see this commitment with you. They want this commitment. Two of Cups, they're totally, totally in love with you. They really want this. Um, I love seeing this Eight of Pentacles because it does give me this feeling of like them putting in effort into this. And so it's almost like to their friends or something, they appear totally cool. But then when you're alone, it's like, oh, my God, it's like, ah, oh, you're amazing. I really like I really, really like you. This is crazy. Like, ah, I really want this. It's like they, they really let their whole heart come out. Um, maybe in the past, it was like a third party or something, because I feel like it's almost like they're afraid of showing their truest selves to their friends or something. It's like they're afraid someone will ruin it, something like that. It could also be family. That is also coming through. Um, but I really feel like they want to grow this relationship with you. We have Taurus, Virgo, um, maybe maybe an Earth sign in general, but especially Taurus and Virgo. Could we also be Capricorn? We have uh, Gemini, Aquarius, and Leo. Okay. Over here we have Leo, Scorpio, in case that is relevant for your career. But yeah, this person is nuts, essentially. <laughs> um, so I, I really feel like there is this feeling of... I don't know like I really feel like someone is safe with you and it's like I feel like someone is showing their true self to you you could be going on a vacation together it's time to disconnect for the, uh, from the world here but I really feel like you're each other's wish fulfillment uh for some you could be getting spicy down and dirty for some okay just take that if it resonates if you're into that but yeah playfulness just saying okay um and just have fun, you know? I don't think that this person has bad intentions at all. I really feel like they're they're pure-hearted. It is safer to love. This is a soulmate, right? So this coming in has your advice. It's like, really enjoy this connection. Really have fun. I feel like this is someone you can have an amazing connection with. Um, and I really feel like something could be developing here. But I feel like it's going to be very subtle, very behind the scenes. It could be that, you know, you have the same group of friends and you two are dating, but you go to the parties separate or something like that i really feel like there's something about someone ruining this so yeah um it could be i'm, I'm uh, it's not that especially with this like beware of self-delusion it could be i was going to say paranoia but it's not that it's paranoia i feel like it's um rooted into something that has already happened so again in the past there could have been other people involved uh family involved friends involved and it's like it did not go well for you for this person take it however it resonates and I don't think that you or this person wants to repeat that. 
and wants that to happen again okay um but yeah I feel like at the very least there's going to be a little kissy here <laughs> if that hasn't happened yet I feel like there's going to be a little kissy so yeah tell me how it goes <laughs> but let's see here we're going to finish this up with some self-care that you can do this month like really practical self-care that can you know help you feel feel a little bit more at ease or more in tune with yourself and then we're going to get into some self-love coupons with fun stuff that you can do alone with this person um just fun stuff for you to pepper yourself and just let go and get loose okay so we have music we have boundaries again you don't have to justify who you are to anyone okay we also have cook cook some nourishing meals we also have oil and we have affirmations okay so these are a couple of things that you can do and let's get your self-love coupons and get a couple of fun stuff for you as well so we have over here baking so definitely food is going to be significant i mean i would hope so because you're a human being but we have fair or an amusement park definitely have some fun ice skating rollerblading picnic in a park stay in bed all day and we also have photo shoot okay so these are a couple of things that you can do to have fun this month um but that is it that is what i have for you my virgo libras i hope this resonated and helped if it did don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already i would really love to have you here you can also check out my pick a cards at the bird's nest tarot it's also going to be in the little cards or um if you want to dive deeper into any of this we can get a private reading the link is going to be down below for you there okay so that being said i love it very much i wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye